Well, hello, 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 hello. Welcome in live to every day. <laughs> live today, everybody. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for coming in. Let me uh, let me get our tune situated here. Get the cameras ready. Let's see. Cole's just wandering around. Apparently, he has no interest in hanging on his bed at the moment. Unlike last week, where. He slept the entire episode, so maybe he'll stay awake and we don't have to worry about him snoring. Anyway, welcome in. First off, check it out. I do have, as promised with your thumbnail and the title, I do have the amazing JVC D series here, folks, live. Looks impeccable. Unbelievable. Oof, look at that thing. Just an amazing guest here. How are you doing today, Mr. JVC D-Series? Oh, wonderful, Steve. Thanks for having me. I look so great with this amazing uh, Super Nintendo coming in. Oh, of course you do. Everybody here in the chat, please say hello to the D-Series. And if you like the D-Series, please hit the like button for us, right, Mr. D-Series? Oh, yes, Steve, you're a complete nutcase, but that's okay. Hello, everyone loves you. All right, thank you, thank you. All right, enough, 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 all right. <laughs> Okay, anyway, anyway, there's our buddy. He's back. Thank you, everybody, for being here today. And uh, if you don't mind, I do hit you up every time for this. Could you please hit the like button for us? We have a very special guest on the show today, and I'm going to do some shout outs here in the chat in a second. I thank you, everybody, for coming in. Uh, you know, normally this show's on Mondays, but there was a kind of holiday this Monday, so I had all my kids at the house yesterday and just didn't have time. I also had to go to a dentist appointment with my daughter, which was oof, terrifying, terrifying from the father having to watch your daughter get fillings perspective. And uh, she's eight, so yeah, it was quite nuts. Hey, uh, everybody, everybody, again, I'll do some shout outs here in a second, but... One last time, please, if you don't mind, hit the like button for me. That way the algorithm will tell everyone that the show's happening. And we will get to our main topic with our special guest again, Mr. JVCD series here. We will get to our main topic in a second. Uh, we generally give it about 15 minutes. So if you're coming in late, you can check it out. There will be a time stamped pinned comment below that you can jump ahead to the main JVCD series but for some reason it takes a couple minutes for everybody to roll in and for the show to get going and let's uh pop a top again now don't 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 worry I'm not that crazy everybody it's just fizzy water so anyway Cole seems to be having fun chewing on his bed today so we have the whole crew here I just like to get a get here Roll back up to some shout out shout outs. I can never get that right. Uh, one day I will. All right, Mega Cards, Andre. Thank you for coming. Scrawlings, Brian Harmon. Good to see you. The Lord Chaco. That's right. We are part of the JVCD series gang. That's right here. Let me let me switch over to this while I do some more shout outs. Chris S. Thank you for coming. Stan, Sashin. Hello, Pasadeo. Pasadeo. Uh, Pasadeo. Thank you again for coming. GF524, thank you for being here. Robinson, Huddy, Minnesota Game, MN, Retro Gamer, Daniel Gonzalez, Amon, Amonimo, Master Dope, User Friendly, The Lord, Chucko again. Okay, everybody, thank you for being here. Thank you for coming in, dropping a chat. And uh, before we get too into, again, this main topic, which is this beautiful D series, it's right here. It's not a joke, it's not a, it's not a trick. It's actually live so we're gonna um we're gonna get to that in a second but why am i even looking at this tv to begin with because believe it or not there is a reason i'm looking at this tv okay okay look there's a reason i'm looking at this tv today okay and uh if you love this tv you can come see this tv in person and heck, you can even take this beautiful TV home with you, if you do so choose. Because today is October the 10th, and in no less than, well actually less than, sorry, less than three weeks time, 
I will be over here at the Music City Multicon. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. This is what I'm talking about, folks. The Music City Multicon, okay? This is a convention I'm at each year. And, hey, give you just to give you a, a little bit of a history, this is one that I've done since, goodness gracious, I believe 20... I'm going to say 2018 or 17 was the first year I did it. And then, like 2017. And then 2018, I was asked to be on the panel, and I've done it every year since then. I've been on the panel that they've had the convention. And uh, since that time, everybody knows I've moved. So I travel back now to this area in Nashville, outside of Nashville, for this convention. And why am I talking about this so much? Again, all you have to do is go over here to musiccitymulticon.com and uh, check out the featured guests here. And all the way down here at the very, very bottom, hey. Oh, wait. Oh, they added some people. Never mind. Great. I'm not at the bottom anymore. All right. Your boy, right here. There I am. I will be there. And let's see. Uh, my, my schedule has not been announced yet. There's a lot of people at this show. A lot of cool stuff. I mean, look. Here's the thing. I'm going to have some CRTs there. I'm going to have some CRTs there available in my booth uh, to purchase. And these are all going to be, well, almost all of them. So there's mostly... Mostly... Uh, going to be just consumer CRTs. And... The consumer CRTs will be uh, all looked at. They're ones that you guys have seen here before. The TR24 13-inch KV Sony. And then there was the... Uh, like, there's a couple of other ones. I've gotten four ready so far. And, and that's what I'm doing with this um, this one right here. I'm getting this ready to take to the show to offer it available to somebody to purchase if they want to there. Or it'll be set up for people to use and uh, play. And uh, just give me one second. I'll be right back. Oh. Okay, sorry about that. Hey, SNK Nostalgia. Save the CRTs. Oh, Sony! Okay, okay. Well, today we're actually talking about a JVC. So sorry about that uh, break there for a second. But there will be... Um... <laughs> JVC. <laughs> of course it's acceptable. It's great, right? Okay, so back to this Multicon. I will be there. You can get a CRT. Heck, you could even be like me. I'm going to be nuts and try to get these wrestlers all to sign CRTs for me. Or Danny Trejo. But man, that, that's going to be like so much... It's going to cost so much money if I get every one of these guys to sign it, right? That's like $60 a piece, I think. Oof, it'll cost me like 500 bucks to get them all to sign it. But, uh, if you want to come to this convention, look, it's not that expensive of a convention to go to. I mean, you can get the their complete package. VIP is $175 for the weekend. But even if you just do three-day adult ticket the whole weekend, this is a Friday, Saturday, Sunday event. Uh, it's only $70. Bucks. And then it even get, you can even pre-op for these Danny Trejo stuff. That's pretty interesting. I never saw that. And some of these other guys, you can pre-buy their uh, packages to buy something. I never knew that. Okay. But, okay, so you're in that amount. And then the hotels. I mean, this is like the nicest hotel, but it's it's in Lebanon. This is the area. <laughs> and so these rooms, I checked them out. They're at like 160 right? I don't know. That's a cheap. This is it. So they're like 160 a night. Okay. For this uh, nicer room. Now, if you want to go down to the frumpy dumpy rooms and, and go for the cheap, cheap experience, there's this quality inn, which is one of those places that has Lebanon, 
which is one of those places that has outdoor entrances and you know all the lovely charm of uh i'm sure whatever's around this <laughs> it's uh so you could go there and this actually this is the one i was i had pulled up before which is only 70 dollars a night okay so you could go there go do that convention hang out with me i'm gonna have a class and uh, it's it's a lot of fun. We've gone through that class before. Let's see if Cole's over there. Yeah, he's still chewing on his bed. So we've gone through that class before where I do uh, the inside, look at the inside of a CRT and show how they work. It's like the magic of a CRT. And uh, so that will be done again. It's actually gonna be mixed up a little bit. Plus I'm gonna have a booth right out by all the CRTs where you can come by and say hello. And you can buy, like I said, there's going to be like five CRTs. Oh, hey, what are you parking at? Stop it. Nicole's going crazy. And so you can get... What are you doing? Come on. Oh, well, live show, folks. Cole's on, on fire today. <clears throat> anyway, we'll have some more CRTs. I'll talk about it more, but that's what's going to happen. Thanks again, SNK Nostalgia, for the $2 Super Chat. Neo Geo is live. Hey, quit barking at that. What are you barking at? Stop it. What are you barking at? Knock it off. Okay? That's enough. Boy, this dog. I tell you. All right. Let's get into this thing. We are 12 minutes in. You know, that's like perfect timing, right? I felt kind of bad because I realized after I put the announcement for my stream that uh, Bob was running a stream at the same time over Retro RGB. And I was like, oh, great. We're going to overlap audiences. And so... Uh, anyway, I want to thank everybody for coming into this stream and for hanging out with Bob on his stream and heck you get a browser's open to both of them Both of them on at the same time and help us both out. That would be cool, too So anyway, here we are. We're looking at the JVC now first off which model we have here Which model do we have going on? Let me clear up some dashboards and we'll pull up We'll pull up some documentation. So first off this is the Two zero D three zero three, which is the one I have highlighted right here, and I found this user's guide for this TV online very easily by uh, just googling this. Now, this unfortunately has no information about the service menu, and it only really talks about uh, you know, setting this thing up. It's basically the owner's guide, but it's a very in-depth owner's guide. And it'll show you things like, let's see here. This is a good look at, since I probably won't be able to show you what the back panel looks like too easily. This is one here. This is what the input panel on this CRT looks like. Let me find that. Well, it's not letting me zoom in very much. So if you look right here in the screen, oh, there it is, sorry. There we go. Okay, so this is our 203 or 20D303 model. You got S video on input one, as well as this would be um, just composite video and then left and right audio stereo. And then you could do audio out. I don't see a video out on this, which is interesting, right? Just video audio out, no video out. So you could hook up a stereo receiver and just feed the audio to it you've got component video in here that also could be a uh, composite video input and then you've got or you've got component video for those three stereo audio s video and then of course um, you've got this vhf uhf rf input and then you've got, all of them have this flap down door right here with an additional third input on there. And that's just a composite and stereo audio composite video input with a headphone jack right there. And that's all you get for your menu, channel button, plus or minus. If I go over here and show you what that looks like from this point of view, you can see all that right down here. Okay. It's all right here. Just menu, blah, blah, blah. There's the little front door. This one does still have this. And yeah, S video is great. Thank you, SK Nostalgia. S video is fire. Oh my gosh. 
Cole's on Cole's on fire. Goodness gracious, he is fired up today. He's come down here with so many toys already, and he just found like a mermaid he wants to tear up now. So we'll keep an eye on him because he's barking at stuff. He's trying to be a disruption, really, today to today's show. So if you get in here, that's just enough to get your you know taste buds started. I did find a service manual but this is not for the 20 inch listed specifically but it is for the 27 inch so i was hoping that the instructions down here on i believe it's page 15 yes so this is a guide on page 15 on how to enter service mode service menu Okay, so hopefully we can do this and get into the service menu and check it out. There's some things we can adjust in here. Specifically, we want to look at the deflection settings right there. Number two. So we'll mess around with the deflection settings um, if that pulls it up. But really, before I even do that, let's just take a quick look at this thing. And I'm going to let my camera sit here for a second. Sometimes when I switch over, it glitches out. And so... Um, you know that happens okay so that's kind of the way we're going to get in here we're going to first look at this thing so this is all right folks this is the big big uh announcement right here where this is the point where i'll insert the thing or, or the timestamp, and we're going to get started on today's main topic which again is a jvc d series it's a 20 inch d303 that is the model an NTSC television, and it's one of JVC's best consumer-grade CRT TVs. Well, the line of the D-Series is considered one of the best uh, and most desirable for a consumer CRT set. And so we're going to look at this today. We're going to take a look at it uh, internally first, and then we're going to go through and try to do some service menu adjustments. And so again, if you've come in here and you just joined me uh, right now, please do me a favor and hit the like button. Everybody, every time you hit that like button, it does translate to about 10 new views for the show. And that's all I really ask for you. It helps out a lot. Of course, I love super chats and, the, you know, conversations going on, but really that's all that I ask for you is just, if you could hit the like button for me and then we'll get started over here. So I want to show you some characteristics of this tube that I've found interesting uh, over the years of using this because I've actually had this set for probably two years now. I've used it quite a bit and I'll be honest, um, after a while I do kind of like to move these CRTs on and you know this is one I hope that somebody else can go and see and use uh, uh, and experience on their own. And then I can move on to these other CRTs, like I said last week, the ones I found in the trash. I had to actually go move those into storage so that I could make more space. <laughs> and my storage unit is stuffed. All right. So as we're looking at this thing, we're going to, um, again, I'm going to show you some characteristics by going into... the 240p test suite to start and the the inputs i'm using uh i'm actually using component video again and and today i've got the hd retrovision cables which are just awesome everybody knows that right sk nostalgia thank you you resurrected your turbo duo good job those are tough they have a lot of smd components and can tear traces so good hey snuffer stuffer good to see you here thank you winston i appreciate that zeltor welcome in uh we're going to get in here and we're going to open it up. We're going to see what's inside. It's never been opened. So we need to see what the condition is internally. Uh, but right now, I want to show you just a couple of features because this tube is interesting. Now, the thing that you really uh, have to love about a JVC and even this D-Series is it's it's got a real like fish eye, bubble eye style of a tube meaning that it really is curving on every edge. And the corners in here, you can see the shadow, how it curves way down in that corner. And so it gives, again, this bubble eye, almost like an eyeball lens effect. Uh, but this particular model just looks crazy on the geometry, and I'm about to show you why. Let me uh, 
pull up our 240p test suite. And if we look here, I'm going to move. I'm going to try to pull the, put the brightness on the TV down a little bit so that we can just get a better view of it. There we go. So if we bring the brightness down, there we go. We can get a little bit better of a view there. And then I'm going to remove, I'm going to move this ring light. I'm going to turn it off for a second, actually. All right, that's a little better. And let me turn, finally, I'll set this camera. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't glitch out on us too bad. All right, cancel. We'll just forget about the camera and doing anything on it right now. But you can kind of see how it's really bubbled in here. But what that does is that we do have some weird wonkiness going on on this edge. And if you know anything about these TVs, a lot of them incorporated something called like a velocity modulation or an edge correction that really makes the edges look crazy in 240p. And uh, so it gets these wonky things on the side that, that are really hard edges. And we're going to try to see if that's even possible to get rid of that. If, if, if it's present. There's also known to be red pushes on this, so we'll see if we can s dial this in, basically, uh, after checking out the insides. But to give you a better idea of uh, how this looks, we'll pull this up, and it looks pretty darn good, like from this angle. Let me remove that muting. Just turn it all the way down, it doesn't matter. We don't need any volume. But it really has that bubble tube. And I like, I mean, personally, if you like a bubble tube, this is great, right? So uh, we definitely have some convergence issues up in here. There's some separation. And that's really indicative of almost every corner. This one's really clean. Uh, but the rest kind of need a convergence adjustment, possibly. And let's see if we've... So it's hard to me to, sh to show you that. Let's see how the linearity looks. It's not too bad. Okay. Now, this is not a perfect tube because if we go in here, I know if I do the... Where's the scroll test? Generally, if I do this, there's a wonkiness that shows up in this screen. Sometimes. Well, I don't appear to be seeing it, so maybe it's not there. Hey, Retro Gamer. Retro Game... Let me make sure I get your whole name in here. Retro Game God. Thank you for the $2 super... 199 super chat. A Fujitsu CRT. Does Sony tube make it Sony? If it says Sony inside, there could... There are plenty of times where Sony did have agreements to make other CRTs with other companies. So there's a possibility if it says Sony on the CRT, then yes, it's a Sony. SNK Nostalgia, thank you. Plasma White HD like. All right. So, thank you. Thank you for the super chats, everybody. A anyway, the scrolling on this shoe isn't great. Edge geometry isn't great. But that's pretty much standard for the majority of these tubes for this time. And you can't get hung up on that stuff too much. Because if you want that, you have to kind of go up to that next level, which would be going up to the PVM on this size pl platform, okay? So, let's, uh, I don't think there's really much else to show you in here for now, because we'll get in this afterwards if we get that open. Um, you know, it's definitely got some imperfections in it, right? But again, this is a consumer set and at this point you're really gonna yeah you're gonna get a barrel roll that you notice on these things sometimes so all right let's do it let's do it i'm gonna fire up the uh light again and then we're going to open up the jvc There we go. What do you think, Cole? Think it's going to be a good one? All right. 
So I do, again, you have to have the remote, really, to make any kind of adjustments on this one. It's, uh, it's a necessity. And it's one of the things I'm doing. I've actually ordered replacement remotes for every single one of the CRTs I'm bringing to the show. I'm going to have uh, remotes for every single one of them. So I'll set that aside. Because you really do, with a consumer set, to get the most out of them, you really do need generally uh the remote control you need that remote right all right let's see cole's back hanging out chewing on stuff everybody good in the chat oh thanks again SK nostalgia cobra arcade in phoenix on vacation all right thank you everybody let's get back here and back to work whoops right here so we should be able to just roll this around And I'm going to unplug it. So I've got the power power cable unplugged. And I'm sorry for the grainy view, right? Let me see if I pull this over. I may be able to go dashboard view. Or come a little closer. Come a little bit closer. Let's see. We got the facial view where I can zoom this out. All right. So the thing is, this is a super thick CRT. Look at that. That'll give you a good idea. It's like an arm length thickness just for a 20 inch. It's a pretty darn long tube, okay? And uh, I've got, this is only the 20 incher. Here's those HD Retrovision cables, just awesome stuff there. Let's put that out of the way, make sure I don't run over it. My chair, my wheels. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Oh man, sometimes I lose track of the stream and then uh, I wonder if everybody's goofing on me. It does look bigger from behind, right? It looks massive from behind. It's actually cool because this, if you're used to picking up like 20 inch PVMs and you grab this one, it actually feels way lighter, but it looks huge. It's so much plastic. Uh, but we've, we've got to get these screws out and uh, doing Zod's work. You are doing Zod's work. God's work, I think you meant. Thank you, SK Nostalgia. So this one, thankfully, has just, again, oh yeah. Here we go. This is a screwdriver. So we're just going in. This is thankfully just Phillips head screws, right? So it's not like uh, any other crazy security bolts, which I did have to deal with recently on a Phillips CRT. Phillips. So I'll give you some stats on this if you're interested. I'll read them right off the back of the tube label. It says this is 120 volts, 60 hertz. Again, 20 inch display, 75 watts. It actually says 20 inches on the back, believe it or not. The chassis is A109, which goodness gracious, that may not match our um, our chassis on this guide, actually. This is this is sad. I hope that's not the case. Let me let me see if this looks any better. Okay. So this is where, where we're at right here. Let me get a little more light. And uh, that's this label. It's just a paper label. November of 2002. So we're coming up on the 21 birthday, 21st year of existence for this thing. And I don't believe it's ever been opened. I could be wrong, but it has a feel and look of one that has never been opened. Now look, uh, 
There is someone I have to thank. I have to thank Romir, who actually donated this set to me probably two years ago. Um, if you guys, yeah, if you guys like this angle, I'll leave it here for a little bit. If it doesn't look like too grainy, uh, I try to in incorporate more light, but it, it it's hard. Hey, Demo Kirby, thank you very much. I appreciate you being here, and I appreciate your super chat. Says your streams are great, and appreciate the smooth jazz. I like the jazz. The jazz does cost me a little extra to provide to you. But let me, let me, uh, but it's not much. It's worth it. It's like, I think my, my deal is something like $15, $16 a month for that, which I really take advantage of on these streams. Now, the thing I don't want to be surprised by is the, if I tilt this forward, is there a screw at the, under the plastic? Nope, they're just corner screws. Great. And then the back screw. All right. Excellent. We've got these three out. Let's... I'm going to go ahead and get this one down here. I know you probably can't see that too well because it is super dark down here. <laughs> oh, gosh. What are you eating, dog? Hope you're not eating a screw. Pups, man. Pups, pups, pups. Okay. There we go. So there you go. That, that is kind of a cool view. Right? I like it. Ooh. So I did have a video last weekend. Or last... Yeah, last weekend. Saturday. But nobody... like Well, half the audience watched it, I'll say. It wasn't a big barn burner like the first comparison video two weeks ago it was the watchman episode which did feature this one right here all right now we just have these on the side to get there's a lot of screws in this tv most don't have this many so but the um gotta say i've really been loving the live streams too everybody i th i want to say thanks again to everybody who comes here i know a lot of you come here uh very regularly and hang out even when i have to change the days up like i said normally this shows are mondays and thursdays but the last couple times like last week we had to do a friday show and then today's tuesday obviously so i, I mean sometimes we got to go with the flow and I'd rather bring a show to you than just skip it because I skipped the actual date that I, you know, try. Again, it's a try-by. The goal is to keep that schedule. Oh, this one's, this one's jammed. Well, it'll pop out, I think. comes the screw. All right, so the first thing I need to be concerned about is not flopping this TV out over onto this ground. Let's see, still attached back here. Somewhere. Looks like I'm still attached to something. Oh yeah, there's a whole input board back here. Oh my goodness. All right. The whole input board back here that has a bunch of screws, which I didn't realize that were attached. So it's pulling the whole chassis with it. Okay. Do it. Oh yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be the good spot, okay? Let's see. Let's see how we can do this. Can we get this a better angle? Can we come up and maybe shoot down a little bit? Oh look at that thigh. There you go. There you go. Some short shorts for you. Come on. What do you there you go? 
making a big sloppy mess of this. This thing is filthy. You know, I usually have rules where I don't open these in the house for the first time. You know, you want to know why, right? Look at that. Good grief. I mean, last time in the stream, you saw me eat about half that. And I don't want to do that again. That's pretty typical of one that's never been opened. That's 21 years of skin cells. Gross. Gross, 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 gross. It is a furry one. All right. All right. Look at that. Amateur hour. So this is the chest. You can see I've just gotten it already pulled out because I had it. I already had it uh, attached. Hey, SK Nostalgia, thanks again for the $2. Super chat, get my thigh out of the picture for you. Um, that's for the uh, OnlyFans page later. Just kidding, I don't have any of that. Thank you again for another super chat of $2. I am here to learn. You are here to learn. We are here to learn together. Let's learn. Now, I'm going to just start unplugging certain things to get them out of the way. Because I'm going to pull this board. And then we'll, we'll put it on the desktop and, and clean it out a little bit. And uh, take a closer look at it. So there's a plug right here, and you don't have to worry about discharging it yet to unplug any of these things, okay? So we're going to unplug that. That's simply the speakers. One leads over here to this speaker, and one leads over to the right speaker. And that's it. And what else do we have plugged in? Right here, we have a degaussing cable, okay? It shouldn't really matter which way you put that back in or take it out. And that right there is uh, needs to be unplugged. The next thing we're gonna we're gonna pull the neck forward with this. So there's really oh see that dust already getting in my face. You know that's a good question. Let's see what type of tube this is. Now this is uh, actually a JVC labeled tube. We'll get a closer look at this tube in a second. I'll pull it in nice. Um, this is an NTSC set, everybody. So it is a North American set. The model number again is the JVC D303 20 inch variety. And we'll take a closer look at this board and that as soon as we get it out. Now, another thing we're going to unplug is this yoke, because the yoke stays with the tube. So the yoke gets disconnected, okay? And also there's a ground point that goes to the neck board, and it's soldered into the neck board. And in order to get it out, you have to just disconnect it from this ground loop right here. And it's got this bendable clip that's just attached to the main ground strap behind the tube. And you just bend that out of the way. And that's how you get that ground cable out of the way right there. And that looks like everything. Everything, because we're going to... Watch this, I'll show you. You don't even have to discharge this to... Uh, let, me, let me pull this sideways. Maybe I can get you in there closer. Oh, thanks for joining us. Yes, that's it. It's North American. Uh, thank you for joining us from Japan. Awesome. So, right, we don't have to discharge it yet, but we're going to take this neck board off, and we're just wiggling it and pulling it back steadily, and then it comes free like that. And see, all that can be kept together, and everything is ready for this chassis to be pulled. You see, it's all one big bundle. And the only thing we haven't done is discharged it yet. What do you think? We had this thing hot. Do you think this... Do you think this, uh... B-Series has a... 
Do you think this CRT is going to have any charge in it? What do you think, chat? If you think so, drop a like button, or hit the like button for me. Drop a like for me, sorry. <laughs> Just want to see what kind of music we got going. See if the mood is right for a discharge. Is the mood a right for a discharge? How do I make a poll? I don't know how to do that. Fire it up, it say. Let's see. I don't think it's going to go. I don't think it's... I think you're probably right. Um, poor my TV. It probably does Vectrix. I know. But we don't know. The Toshiba was still the worst. And it was from the uh, same time period. I don't think it will. I don't think it will. And I, our music's not too bad, but let's see how close we could get this. I don't... Oh, yeah, that's a good song right there. Let's see. Let me see if I can get... I mean, I can. It'll probably get a bit grainy. Let's see. There we go. There we go, folks. Toshiba was the... Toshiba was what we call the firecracker. It went... Every time. I really want to find one of those on my, for my own to give to use as a demo. Because it would zap every single time. And it was... You could tell it was going to zap. You would actually hear and feel like electricity as you got near it. Like... Uh, uh, like it was... It was like attracting you towards the hole and getting ready for a zap. All right, let's see. What side's the best side right over here? This is probably the spot. I'm not going to touch it yet. I want to see if I can get it. There we go. See it right there? That's pretty good. Woo! <laughs> I wasn't even looking. I felt it and heard it, though. <laughs> oh. Oh, goodness. It, it definitely zapped. I don't know if it showed up on the film. But holy crap. Holy crap, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Am I still here? Is this... Is this like... Is this what the afterlife is? <laughs> oh, boy, boy, boy. You know, I was going to sell this TV. Now I might have to keep it. And call it the Zapparoni. Whoa! <laughs> yeah this was uh this was has been an awesome stream folks we've made history i don't know that i've ever seen anybody live live stream a zap <laughs> oh man now if we if i did have if i did have a fancy editor that would be a great a great meme right there Thank you, SK to Sanjo. That's the plan. Wow! I am energized. I don't know about you. We could get a double zap here. I mean, I was taking that for granted. Folks. It's like snake bite, yeah. Once you get snake bitten so many times by that cobra, it doesn't really hurt you anymore. Ha! <laughs> What do you think? We gonna get a double zap? We gonna get a double zap here? Oh, double zap! Tap, clap, clap, double zap! Come on, baby! All right. Now I'm like nervous as I'll get out. Let's see. Oh, there was a zap! There was a double zap! Oh, let's get this over with before it gets worse. 
Get on out of there, you bugger. <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, that was a baby zap. I saw it that time. I got to go back and watch the footage of the first time around. Because I'm not entirely sure. Got to tell you, I didn't, uh, I didn't know for sure if it would come back and hit it again, if it would happen again. So that's cool. How lovely. How lovely. So, hey folks. Folks, don't try this at home. You, you heard me. Don't go. Try to service these JVCD series, okay? Not unless you know what you're doing and you have... You have no reason to not do it. <laughs> that was fun. I I'm pretty pumped. I, I was surprised to see that. In the land of PVMs, you don't see that very often. All right. Let's pull this board, see what we're working with here. I may leave that in place, so we may come back and see if there's another zap. No, that's crazy. There's a little clip on the bottom of there, which I do not know. I've never seen that before. Look at this. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, thanks again, SK Nostalgia. You are grounded. Yeah, thankfully everybody was grounded there. We would have had a nightmare. All right, let me let me zoom out and restore your vision. And as I say before, this is a live show, everybody. We do these things. We do these things like this for... This is the clip I'm talking about. It's obviously meant to go in there, but I, I don't... I didn't notice it the first time. It, it looks like one of the legs is busted on it. Yeah. Looks like both legs were busted on it. It's just a little spacer. All right. So let's see if Cole... Oh, look at him. So as we kind of rearrange things here, please, folks, if you can, if you have not already, if you have not already, please hit the like button for us. And if you have, thank you so much for your contribution. It helps immensely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this uh, overhead camera out. Should be able to... And I'm going to do this so you don't have to, like, see it and get car sick. Should be able to extend it, right? Or am I dreaming? Maybe not. Okay. You get the screws out of the way. The spacer out of the way. Dust is flowing through the air. So you know it's a fun day. Here we go. All right. So we got the top down view here. First off, check it out. This is our flyback area, obviously. And let's let's just get some sweeping action going so we can get rid of some of this dust. See, there's a lot of dust built up in here. And I'm going to start by just knocking that off loosely with this brush so we can get a better idea as to what we're looking at. This is not a GoPro. It's literally a, like, just cheap 
$100 camera. I want to replace it. There's a new Logitech camera coming out soon. It's not out yet, or I'd have bought it. But it's called, like, The Reach or something. But it's a presentation overhead style camera that would be perfect for this work that I'm doing right now. I, I, my GoPros are okay. For some uses, I would never use them for streaming. Though, they're not that dependable. Gosh, it's just caked in some areas. I'm going to take a closer look at some of these parts, starting with this flyback transformer once I get it cleaned off a little bit better. Okay. So look a little further here, a little further in, and let's see if we have a part number or anything. We do have a part number right there. Doesn't really say, there we go. It's a Samsung. Uh, it's hard to probably read, but at the very bottom on that yellow label, it says, can you read it? It says Samsung first off right there, right where my finger's covering, it says Samsung. So it's this in-house made, no, this is a JVC. So we got a Samsung, what am I saying? This is a Samsung flyback in the JVC. What else have we got in here? Look at some of this logic. Can you, I don't know if you could see that. Um, let me see if I could get it in closer. Thank you, SK Nostalgia. I miss modifying Neo Geo consoles and Genesis also. Yeah, modding consoles is great. All right, let's see if I can. I can't see it. I can't get it to show, but the, the writing on here, it's Toshiba. Maybe you could see it a little bit better. It's actually Toshiba chips. Both these chips right there too. Toshiba on this chassis. Now, if we look at this, and the cool thing about these boards is if you have an issue with something specifically, you can come in here, and I'm sorry about this angling. That's why I want to get that reach camera. It's made specifically to do this. So, starting, for example, from this side, which we will brush off and I'll clean off and talk to you about. This area is kind of isolated by these lines. All of them are. So these are power this is the power area but you can see these white lines that block everything off and all this is power stuff over here right you have your high voltage and your lower voltage isolated power that's what this whole area is relays uh, filter capacitors and then next to that MTS I'm not sure what MTS stands for but a lot of these areas on these boards are not even populated. Let me get you in the viewpoint of what I'm talking about here. So, we go through this. Right, that's the cool thing about these old PCBs, right? Power, see there's that power. And it even tells you over here that it's isolated power, right? Isolated. Um... You can see if you have a fuse problem, that's pretty easy to visually check, but maybe something to look at. Um, oh, this is where like our buttons touch for our front screen panel, where it just comes in and makes contact with the buttons. This is obviously our VC micro, VC def micro chip right here. Look at that digital, or sorry, right there. And then like 
digital comb filter section right there. If you have a problem with the switching on your AV, that's right here. With the AV input. Uh, the tuner section. This whole block, right? Is all tuning functionality. And then we're back around over here to all the deflection area, okay? This is all deflection zone stuff. Everything in here looks really good. Like, there's no visible signs that anything needs to be replaced yet. And the front input's right here. Let's see, what does it say right behind that? Audio. So this is where our audio uh, is, coming, is being processed in this section of the board right here. That's a pretty tiny audio area. And that's pretty much it. So this thing is definitely going to be cleaner than it was because we all saw how nasty it was coming out. Let's take a look at the bottom of the board and I'll try to pull this back and show you because this is a double. Hey, smoke monster. Welcome in. Thanks for coming today. Another bunker veteran. Free bunker actually smoke monster and i had a great i guess you could call it after dark show we had a lot of fun going through some pvms about i don't know four or five months ago that was a lot of fun Ooh, i don't want to put much pressure on this board or split anything everything looks okay like there's no burn marks that's actually a pretty clean board solder quality still looks mostly fine on here hey snk nostalgia thank you again Back in the day, boards were labeled properly. Absolutely. Just like manuals. Like this thing would come with a 100-page manual. But just like the top side, everything's labeled on the bottom. You know, some of these things definitely have bottom side components. Again, here's that MTS, which I'm guessing is like switch the brains of the outfit down there. That's a, that's a Sony chip right there. That right there. Teensy weensy guy or gal or chip. <laughs> There we go. Right there, that's a Sony chip. So aside from that, I mean, this board passes pretty good inspection. We'll take a look at the neck board here too. This is pretty simple neck board. There are a couple capacitors on this one, but you got three color transistors, right? One, two, three, um, and Three pairs of resistors, actually. Three. Three pairs of resistors. A couple of inductor or an inductor, a cap, a diode, a cap. Not a lot in there. Okay. Pretty nice looking though. Solder still looks good on here. There we go. So again, nicely marked. If you want to go in here and you know you have questions about the tube, this will actually give you the pinout of the tube, right? You see it says G1, and then green, G2, red, H1, H2, BK, black, or uh, blue, and then E, which I'm not sure what E is. So I wouldn't hook up to E, I guess. I've never seen the E. <laughs> Ronnie, Ronnie, you just missed us tearing down this this S and or this. I keep saying S and K because you've been <laughs> super chatting so much. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it, really do. But uh, we're tearing down this CRT. First off, we're looking at the board now. I'm gonna go in here and try to clean the dust particles out of this cap. And then we'll get some... Uh, where's my stuff? Hang on, I've got to get an alcohol wipe. <laughs> We're gonna... Uh... 
you can interpret them. I'm not sure what the exact thing is, but each number represents a value. So you can get, uh, you just literally Google it and it'll tell you the, the formula. And then you just go by the colors on there in the order they are in. Uh, and it'll get, and then you can figure out a value for replacement. Okay. If you have, a, if you have a, uh, resistor now if the resistors burn up you're gonna have to try to find documentation and you can't tell like what the color is look at that you have to find documentation or look at a uh, a similar crt or the same crt just a different one that's not damaged to get the value so i've just got some ipa on an old beach towel and um Rubbing, rubbing the rubber, <laughs> rubbing the rubber. Okay. Just getting a lot of that nasty built up soot off there. Work our way back. Down here. Give it a little stroke into the east. Be stroking. There we go. That looks pretty good. It's clean enough for now. Now I'm going to make you dizzy with the camera roll. And then I'm gonna hit this up with a little pressed air after I give it a couple a couple more spots. I'm gonna give them a dust off because I haven't hit that spots just yet like I did the others. It will blow this thing off and we'll take a look at our uh, tube in a second here. There we go. Now. Let me switch over here and then I'm going to switch this view around so I don't make you dizzy because I don't want you to Let's see that. So we're going to look at this tube now. Tube is, again, it's a JVC tube, which I find baffling. I just hit that and I was like nervous because it, <laughs> the sticker popped. Now I'm going to be nervous anytime I go near this tube. That's great. All right, we're ready to get in here now. Let me uh, get our chassis a little bit out of the board, out of the way. And we will, let's see if we discharge it again, first off, okay? If it does anything. Ah, oh, thanks for the tip. This is an OG LL Bean 90s windbreaker. Thank you, Smoke Monster. Oh, it's zapped again. Can you believe it? Did you see it? Ah, oh, thanks, Joe. Joe, tom Joe Tomato. <laughs> Look, it's zapped again. This thing is an energy hog, isn't it? That would have zapped me if I'd have just gone over there and touched it. That's crazy. So there's a thick layer of crap here. Hey, G... G... or G-J-A... Shawnick... J... I'm sorry. I don't know how to say that right, but thank you for the $1.99 super chat. Resi you want me to res measure the resistance of the yoke coils. Ugh, all right. Let's look at this, and then you can refresh me on how to do that. I can't remember. So I just need to measure the ohms, right? The ohms between the two places. All right.
There we go. Yeah, guys, we did have another zap. Isn't that crazy? So I know, right? I've got the meter here. I turned it into ohms, I think. Correct? And then I don't remember the combination. Um, so you can tell me. I know you measure the two and the dis like the ohms reading between them, right? Basically, just need to go... No reading there. Am I getting a reading here? Okay. I'm going to show you my readings here. So you can get your money's worth here. There you go. All right. So, you know, I'm not sure. I know that the, these two are connected. The back two. Because they're reading 9.4 ohms. 9.4 ohms, okay? Which is the black and, or no, I'm sorry, that's a brown. Brown and yellow. So I don't know if that's vertical or horizontal. It's one of them's reading 9.4. Let's see what the other one's reading. Nine four and three point three. Nine four and three point three. Okay. So there you do. There you go. I think I did that right. I'm pretty sure that's right. Sorry, you caught me off guard there trying to give me a live test. <laughs> no, I think that's how you do it. You just measure that and one's the vertical and one's horizontal, right? And uh so there you have it. That's on film. I hope that helps. And I hope that's what you wanted. There you go. 9.4 is vertical. Sounds right. Yes. Let's see if there's another zap. I mean, this thing is zap city. It's already given us two, three zaps. Let's see. I think we're finally out of juice. All right. Excuse me. Everybody, this has been awesome. We just did, hey, we just did two things I've never done on stream before. And that's, uh, yeah, I would, Ronnie, you can measure it at the yoke connector, but literally that's the same thing as those go up here to these points, you know? Uh, sorry, you can't see it there. These points, there's four points on top. That's where all the wires go. So you could go and maybe say there's a little bit more induction in this, I guessed, one foot cable. So yeah. Hey, Grail, thank you. So just dust away a little bit at this. This has a big old fat uh, three, three gun build out the old shadow mask technology here at at its finest let me see if i can get you a closer look at that <clears throat> try to get zoomed in there a bit we'll see how this looks ignore the windbreaker you're welcome snk nostalgia thank you so this thank you for the five dollar super chat appreciate it okay I didn't bang it into anything. Still lots of dust here. Watch this. <laughs> First off. Look at that. Bleh. Look at all that. Goodness, this thing's dirty. Should have done this outside first. Then you wouldn't have gotten to see a lot. Okay. I am going to wipe off this if I touch it, you know? The big thing I want you to see is this right here. Which is the neck of the CRT. And you notice that we said, I had said there were some issues with convergence. There's not even a convergence strip installed in here. So definitely adding some convergence strips would help. Good. Let's blow some of this out of here so I don't get it all in my face. Here in a second. Trying to knock all of it off.
There we go. It's pretty good. Now we can... Where's my... Where's my blower? There we go. Give it the old blow job, baby. Okay. I know it's bad for my lungs. It's terrible. Thank you. So I'm trying to blow it that way. Out of my lungs. So this has a big bright yellow label. I'm gonna read you the model for the tube number here. It is a JVC A51 K R E 89X DT in parentheses. Okay. And then you of course got this speaker right here. What is that? That's a shielded speaker. Eight ohms, five watts. You got dual or two of those bad boys in there. Let me zoom out of the camera. And it looks really grainy when I blow the dust. What do you think? We got anybody from NYC in here today? We usually have some people from NYC. The dog is very happy. <laughs> He's sleeping. He forgot about everything. He finally zonked out. Look at all the toys he brought over there. Look at them all. All right. So the zaps are done. Um, I'm gonna just kind of knock some more of this dust off. You know? gonna knock it down you got to be careful on this darker charcoal edge that's the aqua dag and that's meant to be there so you don't want to rub any of that off now you shouldn't rub it off with just a simple brush but you don't want to use chemical. That's the reason I'm not using chemicals. All right. That tube is pretty good. Okay. Now one of the things I did want to see, which I'm not actually seeing on this neck board, we remember in those other ones, we remember in the models um, that I was discussing earlier about the having velocity modulation on the set, this does not appear to have that. Which that was also more of a flat screen feature for uh, flat screen CRTs, but I thought I'd check. Generally, that would be located here on the neck board somewhere, but there's no real indication of that. All right, thanks for the next uh, another super chat there, SK Nostalgia. You will not take your my business. Thank you. There's plenty of business here. Risky CRT business. This is the 20... Hey, body, blow biscuit butter. Yes, this is the 20-inch D-series. 
Hey, PO17. It is on your... Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Sometimes it's a cable or setting on the neck board. Sometimes it's as simple as a setting in the uh, menu. So we'll see. I'm just not completely sure about the chassis if uh, we may all have to do a group effort on trying to get that actual um, we may have to do a group effort on trying to get make sure we get the circuit board or the service menu pulled up correctly it's a lot cleaner in here okay lot cleaner even those cables are good and clean. So we'll put this back in. It hopefully did no harm. Hopefully we did no harm. Sometimes I wonder if I bend a board accidentally on removal. Because that, that wouldn't be good. First thing to plug in is the speakers on the front. Right there. And then that should be fine. There's a harness for it. Keep it out of the way over there. Do that. I know oh, that side's good. Now we need to slide it in a little bit. Into this tray. It'll fit right in there like that. Good. That's pretty much it. Well, we're gonna we're gonna go in here now and reconnect some of these things. Yeah, we'll figure it out together. I, I've got the settings here. I know it's it varies kind of between models. So thanks, PO17. Hopefully we can get into it pretty simply. So I need to plug in my yoke, which is over here behind the flyback. So we'll pull the pull the board out a little bit. There we go. It looks like that was being held maybe down here by the degaussing cable. So we'll reattach that under there. Put that there. That's good. So we got our degaussing cable to, to attach also, which is in the front on the other side over in this area. So like I said, it doesn't matter which way you step that in there. It should be fine. Just like that. That's everything in that zone. Now, I like to come in here and secure the neck board thankfully that just slips right over like so piece of cake push from the center here and then this is the ground cable with the little clip we just clip that back over here on this ground strap bend that back a little bit there we go you might have to bring in some pliers and bend it back because it is a little loose now. I don't really want it to be loose. I want it to have a good, good ground. So bend those guys a little bit. There we go. And that's. All right, we've got to do our last connection. What if you forgot to connect this? Huh? I zap you like a bolt of lightning. Now, before I do connect that, I'm going to show you something else. Okay, 
Got some gloop here. Got some gloop, gloop here. We're going to gloop up our anode here. Right there. Open that a little bit. This is just, whoops. <laughs> Premium dielectric grease. It's actually hint the marine quality. It's just easy to find. Sorry, there you go. CRC. We're just going to give a little dab here in the sudden keep slipping in my hand give a little dab down in that like there like so and that's it that's it now I can just slip this back in here goodness wow so yeah if you if you're showing up late you need to go back and watch the discharge I'm gonna go back and watch the tape after the streams over with uh, because I can't believe it. I've never seen anything like that. But if you want to, you should go ahead and check out the stream where we had a couple zaps. A couple of zaps on that anode cap. Unbelievable. Then we checked, if anybody wants to know, we also checked the resistance of the yoke. So if you want those totals, they have been revealed to the public earlier in the stream. And there we go. Now, we can do some things. So what I'd like to do is not have to put the back on yet because it is filthy. So. As crazy as it sounds, because this is a wild CRT. We're going to plug it in. But I'm going to set up my inputs before I do that. Meaning I'm just going to plug in the component inputs before I turn it on. So that we can check some things, try to get in that service menu. Because I'm going to blow that one, that back is worse. I'm going to blow that out in the garage area. Okay, secure everything properly. There we go. His wires got tangled a bit. Hang on. Okay, here we go. Here we go, folks. Let's get some nice distance here. Let me make sure I've got my remote control. Excellent, right here in the remote. And we'll get this party started and turn that light out. And then we'll start like this. Now again, hope nothing happens. Everything's plugged in. Turn the power on. All right, I've turned the power on. I don't want to touch the board because it might slip backwards since there's no back holding it. Let's try the remote. Okay, coming on. Seems to be, sounds normal. There we go. Does look a bit dark. Doesn't it? Like... I forgot. I turned the I turned the brightness way down on there. So let's get in there and see that. Yeah, I turned the brightness way down. I forgot about that. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. It's still working. We didn't mess anything up. I'm going to turn that brightness back down a little bit. 
And we're gonna try... I will give it a good focus adjustment for sure. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get out of that. And we're going to pull back up 240p monoscope pattern. There we go. And I'm gonna turn this other light off so we can see. And I'm gonna switch back over so we can see if this feature or if this uh, is the actual way to change our or get into our service menu. So if you remember, we were over here. Thank you, SNK Nostalgia. Five dollar super set, super chat. Save our CRTs. Absolutely, we are saving them. So, thank you again. Let me grab a drink of water. I'm getting a little dry, parched mouth here. All right. Thank you again, everybody. We're coming up to a one point, one point four hour stream right now what a weird way to say it but hey that's what you get here in the retro tech bunker so it's time for the little reminder that if you could please please hit the like button for me if you just joined recently and if you want to go back you should and check out uh well you can come back later on when this this stream goes into post-production and becomes viewable all the time uh, check out the zaps that this JVC D series did. It was some zaps. And the interesting thing is, is I've worked on the 36 inch D series a number of times and never, and a 32 inch and never remember that zap. I don't at all. So maybe it's just a 20 inch. So there was a three zaps on the discharge. So, uh, anyway, we're going to get in here. We're going to try to see if this is the correct way to get into this service menu, okay? And this says to do... <sighs> Press the sleep timer key and set the, set the sleep timer to zero. Then press display and video status key at the same time. So it should be pretty simple. Let's see if that actually works. Cole, he's he's still out sleeping. I don't know what the time slot is, Jeff. <laughs> I think it was like uh, about. You know, you can go back to when it starts seeing the discharge. I definitely built it up a little bit. <laughs> when we go into that camera mode, where I go zoom in real quick to the anode cap. All right, let's see if that works. We're going to press sleep timer, and then we're going to do display and video status. Display and video status are just here and here. That should be pretty easy to press together. Sleep timer is right below them. So I'm pressing sleep timer. It's set to zero minutes, and then I'm going to press the two of them together, and boom, baby. Boom goes the dynamite. There we go. Look at that. We have the whole board of things here now. I wonder what some of these are. Low light, high light, YC, picture in picture. For, all right, check the first setting for NTSC mat. That's the red push. So what's select? I need to go back over here, sorry. So this is definitely not gonna pull out of this menu. We're going to go back over here. We're going to see. We're going to go into this first VC setting. So we should be able to just press up and down and left and right when we get to it. What? Okay, so up and down. All right, let's go to this first setting. All right, hang on. We are... There's a lot of things in this one. So, I went to the first one. Now, you're saying check the first for NTSC mat. So, we need to try to find something that says NTSC mat. 
select any of the items, then press the volume. Yes, okay. Sorry, I'm just looking through here at this uh, to see if it says that you press exit key to get to the last screen. So that's what we just need, I need to know. All right, so I'm going up right here. We have APC clock, VM off. So maybe that's off, right? Virgil modulation off. That's probably good. Maybe it's already off on the set. AGC adjust, 80. That's not what we're looking for. V1 gain, come on. Do de da. None of these are anything so far. It does give you sub contrast, OSD contrast, video switch, blue, RGB mute. Sharpness. NTSC matte. Okay, there it is. So it's like three, two, five, two, one. I think it says so it's already yeah oh I've already gone here and turned it off that but that's good look look at that difference right there so and that's funny I guess I've already been in this or whoever I got this from has already gone in here and done this and and already turned virtual virtual module we'll turn that on in a second but if we go to like our color bars uh, let's do this one think or no here i actually want to do this one yeah watch this should be a difference right here see that look at that <laughs> look at how much look at how much um look at how this but look guys you i i want everybody to understand something of course i've got the brightness down but, and there's a reflection right here from my monitor, actually. So let me see if I can turn that there. That kind of helps. Fine. Yeah, see, it's kind of reflecting there. But these colors are pretty balanced. They're all in the same four range because I've got the brightness turned down. If I turn the brightness, they'll go back up into the good range. But when I add that red push, which is set on here, the NTSC matte, look how, look how pronounced that push is red unreal yeah look at his hair and his jacket he literally goes from brown hair to red hair there's three modes all of them stink <laughs> hey pixage and pixels thank you <laughs> Yeah, you can check stuck in the 90s. There's probably something in there for this. You just need to make sure that you go through your service manual. And, and honestly, if you go, if we go back through that, let me let me pull that back up. Um, it should. All right, let's see. Yes, it's S. So that's not a five. That's S21. So you should be able to come in here, and interesting look at this nts mat setting it is it's this is the setting you're looking for so you can look in your service manual and find this setting on this television and you need it to say zero like i said it has three models it's normally set in three or two or one right look at that depending on the input that's crazy you might have to go in here and and change it for each input, I'm not sure. But it's on component right now. So there's that one. Uh, you obviously have other colors. You can increase your colors on the drives if you need more color. Blue and red are the cutoffs and then the drives. And even more cutoffs and drives. It's awesome. Uh, let's see, none of those things are important for this what was the other one we wanted this one 
So this is the virt VM modulation off. Interesting. It says it's normally set to zero. And that's what it was. Oh, okay. Cool. Thank you, P.O. It says it's, uh, it's all the same. Okay. So... No, it's not me. It's it's supposed to be uh, the guy from Snatcher. Well, that's great. So there you go. You definitely can have a red push on this television, and it can be a multi-layer red push because there's three red pushes uh, in this. So make sure that that's turned off. I'm I'm curious. Um, who else is curious and wants to see what happens? Come on, camera, quit that. Who wants to see what else happens when we go up to that? So you could adjust that and increase like red and blue there if you want to. Sub bright, tint, color, um, APC clock. Gosh, is that going to do anything if I turn that on? I don't know. I can't really see anything happening. I don't see anything really happening as I adjust that. So it might not be that on this set. Okay. Let's see what happens. We should be able to do exit. And get back to this service menu. And what do you guys want to look at next? Whoops, that's the wrong button. We got deflection, sound, others, picture in picture. 3LYC. I don't know what that's got to do. It sounds like something to do with the S video. Low light. What is low light? Oh. And it's got values for each color there. I'm not really sure about that one. Interesting. All right, guys. We'll look at some deflection settings. Whoops. Oh, I hit the exit button and got out. I hit the wrong button. Let's see if I can remember that. Sleep timer. There we go. It's so easy to get into this. This is an awesome TV, guys. This is a lot. You could sit, sit here and adjust it from your couch. What a fantastic CRT. Let's get into these deflection. It's probably going to be difficult to see. Uh, that down there. So let me get you to a screen that... Oh, that dog. Let me get you to a screen that we can actually see something on. <laughs> okay. So there's a little bit of the screen there. Vertical frequency is what it's sitting in first. Let's go up. Horizontal position, 14. Yep, we could do that and change our horizontal positioning. Easily center up our thing, but it was already centered. That doesn't actually do anything on this set, so I'm guessing that's a function on another set that has more features than this one. And that should just change it vertically. Oops, I just missed vertical size. So this is something I want to check. Something I'll set up. Um, and that's the... Aspect ratio. So here's your geometry lesson, folks. You should always just start with this. Just, you know, no matter what else happens, make sure you get good aspect ratio so Mario looks good and round and not too fat, not too skinny, not too tall. So I'm going to measure outside. Let's see. Looking at a good five inches and five and three eighths inches wide. Five and three eighths inches wide. Let's go five. Three inches tall. 
See, we're only... Dude. We're under five and a quarter, so we are extremely, extremely off on this uh, aspect ratio. Like, we have to go majorly big. And... Let me see what that is now. So that, that's corrected now. Well, you don't, you the vertical frequency needs to be set correctly uh, on a TV. I wouldn't really mess with the frequency settings unless you have the procedure set to do that correctly because you have to do the vertical frequency. Um, you know, it, it needs to be set. If it's set wrong and you change it, it can actually screw up other settings. Here we go. Let's move on. That's pretty good. Vertical center. You know, I'm thinking we're looking pretty good for vertical center, but you can go up and down that way. Or you should be able to. I'm not getting any changes. That's funny. Huh. So S corridor, this is going to be like the uh, linearity and stuff. There's horizontal size. Funny, some of these settings aren't changing anything, so that might be a sign that... Trapezoid would be trapezoid would be used and that is not a setting in this one. That would be used to fix blanking. Goodness. So trapezoid. Okay. Trapezoid would be used. Trapezoids used to make adjustments on the side, I think. Let's try it. Let's turn that up a little bit. Whoops. Wrong button. And I'll show you what I'm like make I mean. Let's change that up. 34. See, it's not really doing anything, is it? Interesting. So I'm not getting reaction from some of these settings at all. That's it. Let's see if this does anything. 26. Look at that. Not doing anything. So you have to see if this does anything on yours. I think there's different models of these that don't actually do all these features. All right. There you have it. You could do vertical stuff. Trebizoid's supposed to be pincushion. Yeah. Oh, play Lethal Enforces on Sega CD, says SNK Nostalgia. I'm sorry, I don't actually have that game. Or an ability. I don't have anything set up to play Sega CD. I don't get to play any games besides the one you see right here. This is the only game I get to play. So the aspect ratio, vertical center, horizontal center set, and the size, that's all good. Um, I'm not really concerned about the edges. That's why you get that warped edge anyway with the look of that TV. I think it looks a lot better, though. Excellent. Okay. So that's a good run through. There you go. Look at that. Cole still sleeping. All right, guys, so how about a schedule? How about the rest of this week? So I'm going to try my darndest uh, to be back with all of you. Yeah, maybe they are locked. I'll have to look at some of that. It is the game of the year. So does anybody have any questions before I get out of here today about what we've gone over? Let me turn that light back on.
it's been a real fun stream i really did like uh hanging out with you guys and doing this one a lot of fun thank you all so much for the super chats and the awesome um video or you know contribution definitely uh if you're getting in if you're getting in here late and you want to see this stream it's worth watching go back and watch the playback we had zaps we had uh all kinds of stuff that we don't normally do here like measuring the oak yoke <laughs> uh so the next stream will definitely be this thursday I, I mean i say definitely if something happens i'll change it to friday but i'm going for thursday everybody same time and we'll have something completely different. I don't know what I'm going to have. I'm never... I Sometime I just like... This is great. I sometimes just wait for the, the CRT muse to speak into my ear. And give me the direction that needs to be done for this show. And that's what today was. I was in the shower and I was like, Aha! It's a perfect day for the JVC it's a perfect way to do this one it's perfect to get in here i think this is very helpful to anybody who owns a jvc this stream will be that's right same time hey pats good to see you roll pats mercury we got 100 likes that's awesome i love that triple digit likes before i even signed off usually it takes about six to eight hours for 100 likes to happen i'm excited to see what the chat's gonna be i mean the playback i'm even gonna watch the playback of my own show because i really um oh focus focus let's gosh before i jump off i hope i didn't run everybody off let's look at focus real quick on here let's <laughs> i gotta get my life turned around <laughs> what's the best way to do that uh <laughs> stream about the tv all right Oh man, Act Razor, my game. Oh, look at you. Thank you, SK Nostalgia. $20 super chat trying to make me stay around, I think. So let's see. We're gonna do some adjustment on the focus right here. And I, I, I wanna see if if like if it looks any better, any worse, if it's helpful. <laughs> there we go. Now focus will be done. Best done. Kind of like turn down the monoscope pattern right there. And I do actually have to get to the back of the TV this time to do this. Let me see kind of what it looks like back there. I got a little flashlight here so I can... It's on the opposite side, of course. So I'll go around to that side and take a little screwdriver. And I'll adjust the focus from the, this side coming in. And we'll do it that way. Okay, the focus is the top potentiometer on the back of the flyback. So I'm not even touching it with my hands. I'm actually using the screwdriver. But you could tell, look how out of, that's out of focus, obviously. And as I turn it back clockwise, it'll come back into focus. We'll hit our focal point and then we'll wash back out again. We need to come back a little bit. And bam, right there is like the money spot. That's it. Everything looks good. Everything looks good. And of course now, now I'm having second thoughts about selling this CRT. Just look at that thing. Woo! Look at that. Let's see. There you go. I still feel like it's too bright. Right? Like it's pushing too much brightness. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't look, it's not playing. Oh yeah, it is. Here it comes. <laughs> I thought it wasn't. I thought it wasn't coming up. So that's kind of what you want to do anytime. <laughs> Come down to the show. If you want to get this TV, if you want to get this TV, I, I'm gonna sell it. It's gonna be at the Music City Multicon. I, I promise. Look, I mean, this thing's been fully adjusted, and I'm going to fully clean it, so it's going to be in, like, new... Uh, a new 
condition almost. It's got the remote. It's definitely got a great tube on there. Um, I'm not... I don't even know that I've ever... I don't know that I've ever played this anyway. Oh, that's cool. Look at that little V. I put a little V in there. <laughs> what do you think? That looks pretty good, doesn't it? But, like, the max I would ever ask for something like this, I know it sounds crummy, but would be like 300 bucks. I don't even plan to do that. But it is a convention, and I do need to recoup some costs, so it'll probably be about 250 bucks. And then if it doesn't sell, I'll bring it back and, uh, I don't know, <laughs> make more content with it. Look at that. I mean, it looks really good, though. Now that it's been adjusted, I feel like everything's... Uh, all right, let's go to something else that I can actually show you guys. This one's going to be a little... Sorry about that, SNK. I'm going to try something else here, because that one's going to take a long time for me, I think, to get through and actually play anything. wonder how this will look. Right? This is a good one. Let me see if I can turn that, um, like, brightness down a little bit. There we go, that should be a little better. Let's get out of all that. But let's just see, wow, look at that. That is, that is crispy, isn't it? It is, it's, this one you can move around a lot too because it's not as heavy. We can play this for a second and I, maybe I can get the volume up, I don't know. I don't know. Nobody wants to listen to that anyway. I'm gonna listen to jazz. There we go. Could you imagine how how red the screen that you're seeing right now would be with that red push turned on? Holy crap. It would be it would look like uh just a fireball. This is component, yes. So the cool thing is when you use component mode on this television and you use those HD retrovision cables with something like this N64, or sorry, N64, uh, Super Nintendo, you're gonna get awesome scan lines. Like you're actually visibly getting scan lines on here, okay? So it's a, uh, you know, that's the best part, right? Throwing the guys, that was always my favorite thing. It's just throwing them, baby. We gotta throw them. Show them that CRT. Show them how that CRT works. I think that's a th CRT only trick, right? Oh, don't smash me. Oh, he punched me. There we go. Oh, my goodness. There we go. Well, folks, there you have it. This this CRT is awesome, and it's going to draw a lot of attention, right? I mean, like this is goodness. If you can't, this should make most people happy. A clean one of these. Ooh, I'm not even. I'm looking at your screen now to play. That's that's how you know you don't have lag when you can play watching yourself on your OBS screen. <laughs> This was the first, when I first got into uh, retro gaming back again, kind of playing, for, looking for that RGB, this is what I had, this setup with the Super Nintendo, HD Retro Vision cables, and oh, a Toshiba, it wasn't the JVC, it's one I have upstairs, it's a Toshiba AF, but it's, or A series, it's the one that's still a bubble tube like this one. 
And it's very crispy in component. Look, his eyes like disappear. Oh, the pancake. Throw him. It's still the coolest thing. Like, I wish more games would have where you could just throw the bad guy right at the screen. I remember uh, when I was a kid, like, it took me forever to figure out how to do that and beat Shredder. You know? Like, you had to do that, you know, throw him at him. Okay. Well, guys. Got some terrible smell on my hands. I made a sandwich for my wife, and it was it had red onions on it. It's just been in my hand all day. No matter how bad I try to wash my hands, I can't get it off. One more check to the cold cam. Still, still snoozing. Come back here. And I just want to, again, say thank you, everybody, for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you haven't already, uh, do me a favor and hit the like button. And I will definitely see you in the next stream this week. Um, you guys have been a lot of fun again today. And uh, I'm definitely signing off this time. We've, we've gone long enough. It's anybody, everybody. Have a good rest of your next couple days. I'll see you Thursday. And if that doesn't work, Friday will happen. But I'm going for Thursday. Watch your Set your watch. We're going to have something extra cool. I'm not even sure yet. We'll hear what the CRT Muse has to say. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'll see you next time.